Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to the channel where you'll be notified when new videos come out. I encourage you to share these videos with your associates and co-workers to help get the word out about safety. And feel free to comment anywhere uh, in the video and let, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Today we're talking about something a little different. We're not going to be talking about fall protection or uh, silica or, or eye safety or face protection. We're going to be talking about a concept that's been moving through the construction industry for quite a while. And it's called the human performance concept. Imagine a bustling construction site. The towering cranes sway gracefully against the backdrop of a clear blue sky. The rhythmic clang of hammers echoes through the air, and a symphony of workers move with precision and purpose. Yes, amidst this orchestration of progress, there lies a silent, invisible guardian, one often overlooked but indispensable to the harmony of this grand production construction safety. Construction safety isn't just about hard hats and harnesses. It's a profound commitment to the preservation of human life and well-being. It's about recognizing that behind every helmet and steel-toed boot is a person, a father, a mother, a son, a daughter, each with dreams, aspirations, and loved ones relying on their safe return home at the end of the day. Enter the human performance concept, a paradigm shift in how we perceive safety in the construction industry. It's not merely about compliance with regulations or ticking off safety checklists. It's about understanding the intricacies of human behavior and cognition within the context of a dynamic and often hazardous work environment. Consider this, a construction worker fatigued from a long shift might overlook a potential hazard or make a split-second decision under pressure that compromises safety. It's not due to negligence but rather the inherent failability of human nature. The human performance concept acknowledges this failability and seeks to mitigate its impact through proactive measures rather than reactive responses. At its core, the human performance concept recognizes three fundamental truths. Firstly, humans make errors. It's a fact of life. Whether it's a momentary lapse in judgment or a misinterpretation of instructions, mistakes are inevitable. However, instead of assigning blame, the focus shifts to understanding why these errors occur and implementing safeguards to minimize their occurrence. Secondly, the work environment plays a crucial role in shaping human behavior. Factors such as fatigue, stress, and distractions can significantly impact decision-making and performance. By optimizing the work environment, be it through ergonomic design, adequate rest periods, or effective communication protocols, we can enhance safety outcomes and empower workers to perform their best. Thirdly, learning from mistakes is paramount. Rather than sweeping incidents under the rug or resorting to punitive measures, the human performance concept encourages a culture of transparency where near misses and incidents are viewed as opportunities for learning and improvement. By fostering open communication and sharing lessons learned, organizations can continuously refine their safety protocols and enhance overall performance. But make no mistakes, the dividends of embracing the human performance concept are immeasurable. Beyond the tangible benefits of reduced accidents and injuries lie intangible yet invaluable rewards, peace of mind knowing that every worker returns home safely, strengthen morale and camaraderie among teams, 
and a reputation for excellence that transcends the confines of the construction site. Moreover, integrating safety measures through the human performance concept often leads to productivity gains. When workers feel secure in their environment, they can focus more effectively on their tasks, resulting in increased efficiency and output. Additionally, by minimizing disruptions caused by accident and injuries, projects can proceed smoothly, meeting deadlines and budgetary targets with greater ease. In closing, let's remember that construction safety isn't just a legal obligation or a box to check. It's a moral imperative, a testament to our collective commitment to the sanctity of human life. By embracing the human performance concept, we not only safeguard the well-being of those who build our cities and infrastructure, but also pave the way for a future where safety isn't just a goal to achieve, but a way of life to uphold. All right, boys and girls. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's my philosophy. Make sure that your people have all the education and the training they need. You do it through toolbox safety talks, formal training, and, and give them all the tools they need to make proper decisions. And, and, and you constantly have accountability. That's one of the things that's in this is accountability and making sure that they understand the hazards that they faced and how to mitigate those hazards and make sure that they look out for their co-workers and share the information they have at a time. Anyway, I'm not going to add much more than that. Uh, make sure that you give me that thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type and, and make sure you subscribe to the channel where uh, you'll be notified of any additional releases. And, and there's a multitude of other videos, safety videos uh, already uh, that's already been produced. Uh, feel free to share this with your associates and coworkers uh, and, and, and get them in the safety state of mind so that they can follow this human performance and become uh, better, more productive workers and more valuable to their company and more valuable to their family because of their increased values. And uh, make sure that you leave a comment. If, if there's something uh, I left out here, something you'd like to see expanded upon, or perhaps you'd like for me to make a video to satisfy some safety concern that you have that you'd like to share with your team. Anyway, that's it for today. As always, have a grateful day, and we'll see you next time. Sometimes you just got to keep going.